Brayden and Christine, are you here? Come on up. Um, we. All right, for this next piece, it is so important to know, to be able to know if someone's choking and to be able to respond right away. It's, what if somebody got burned really badly? What would you do? What about deep cuts with lots of blood? Where can you as a blind person get good CPR training that's not centered on sight? Those are important topics, but sometimes the people who teach these subjects don't have a blind student in mind. So these next two individuals decided to create accessible training to meet the needs in these areas. Please join me in welcoming from the great state of Virginia, Braden Flax and Christine Faltz Grassman. Help. I need somebody. Help. Good morning to the Maryland branch of my Federation family. I am really sorry that we might be keeping you from lunch, um, and I don't want anyone to faint. So make sure that you are staying hydrated. Um, my name is Christine Falls Grassman. I am um, uh, with First Aid Ally, and I am also the recording secretary of the NFB of Virginia and the president of the Fairfax chapter. And I have with me, and I'm going to, we're going to be switching a, our microphone back and forth here. So bear with us a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Is this, uh, am I using this properly here? Yeah, you're working. All I right. hear you. you Good morning, everyone. Yes. All right. I hope you haven't had too many of those Colorado cupcakes yet because you're really going to want to hear this. <laughs> so. You need to talk to the microphone. On the, they can't hear you. There's one up okay, on the podium that you guys can gotcha, it is, um, It's wireless, so if you want to take it out and hand it back and forth. Okay, okay thanks. Yeah, All right, let's try this again. Good morning, everyone. So, I am here with for, for as uh, representing First Aid Ally. We are Red Cross certified First Aid CPR AED instructors. Uh, we want to thank the National Federation of the Blind of Maryland. And we want to also thank everyone who participated in our class yesterday. It was a very engaged class. People learned a lot. And... Um, I want to also take the time to uh, thank some people who have uh, people and organizations who have supported us in getting this work off the ground. Uh, we have um, Brittany Stovall, who was instrumental in, in helping make sure that we had accessible kits for yesterday's class. We have the Blind Industries and Services of Maryland. I'm sure people here know Who's them. That? Dr. Goss talked earlier about both the Glide and STAR programs, and we were privileged to work with both. So um, we are also working with the Safety Positive Foundation. We help them create content for their newsletter and for their social media to educate people about first aid. And the last uh, organization that I want to thank right now is the Blind News Foundation, where I serve as community experience advisor, which is helping us with our contacts and digital presence. And not to fill about, you'll hear from me a bit later. I will turn it back over and I will get back to you soon. All right, I also would love to thank those who showed up for our first aid class. It was fantastic. We had a great time working with you. I hope you did as well. Um, I also want to thank, um, Brayden mentioned Blind Muse Foundation. I want to thank Todd Tolson, um, CEO of Blind Muse Foundation. Um, he basically operated as our golfer yesterday. He took some training footage. Um, he was running around yesterday trying to make everything work for us, make sure everything was, was all up. 
um, together. So we want to thank Todd. Um, and I also want to thank Accessibility Incorporated of Washington, D.C. Were it not for them, um, Braden and I would only be certified CPR, um, we would only be certified in CPR first aid. We would not be certified CPR instructors. Um, so we can actually instruct in those now. And Accessibility Incorporated said, sure, I am positive that you two blind people can do this. You already know how to do this stuff. Why not be able to teach it? Um, so thank you to Martin Ayaba of Accessibility Incorporated for giving us, giving us that opportunity. Um, I want to make clear to everyone that first aid is something that all of us should care about. Um, whether you're at home, whether you're in the community, whether you're at a store, uh, wherever you may be, if you're a parent, grandparent, if you are caring for the elderly, whatever you are doing on a daily basis, first aid is something that you can use to help yourself and to help other people. And there are techniques, there always are, non-visual non -visual techniques that can help you do the things that sighted people do for first aid. And we are here to tell you, first, your first aid allies, that we will teach you how to do those things. In addition, we are going to work on getting more accessible first aid kits out there, accessible training materials. This goes back to our resolution to the American Red Cross and others. Um, and we are also working on reaching out to contacts to train EMTs, to train medical professionals, to deal with us properly when we are in a first aid or a medical situation. Um, so those are some of the things that we're involved in. Um, I'm gonna turn it back over to Braden. Thank you. I wanna talk a little bit more about the importance of what we're doing here and uh, offer, offer you guys here some concrete um, evidence because we agree with our national representative, Kevin Worley, that we can take care of not only ourselves, but each other and those of us who are also not blind. We have recently, we had a woman reach out to us, a blind woman taking a CPR certification through a college class. She was told that she could not be certified in the AED portion, that's the device that will uh, shock your heart back into function, because it was too dangerous for her as a blind person to use it. So now she is receiving a certification, although we're doing our best to make sure that this will not ultimately be the case, that is not equivalent to that received by her peers. And as a totally blind person who is certified not only to use an AED, but to teach an AED, I can assure everyone here, and you all know this, that that is nonsense. And by the way, you do not have to be certified to use an AED. Newsflash. So even though she took this class and she was told she can't be certified, um, number one, they didn't use it in the class, by the way. They didn't even practice with it. Um, but you do not have to be certified to use an AED. An AED is, has voice prompts. All you have to do is familiar, familiarize yourself with the buttons. You do not have to be certified in its use. It's there to be easy so that in the instance where someone needs it, you can take it out and use it. Um, so this is something that we are keeping uh, abreast of, and we are going to ensure that her certification is the equivalent of those at her college. And uh, one, last, uh, one last little piece of information before we give you our contact information and how you can learn more. According to the American Heart Association, only 20% of Americans are certified in, in CPR. Now, there may not be more blind people in, the, in this country than that, but there are more people with disabilities in this country than there are people full stop who are certified in CPR. That's, what, that's a missed opportunity, and that's an opportunity that we're not content to see continue to be missed. All right, I will turn it back so you can give some contact information. Okay. 
So get your Braille devices and your slates and styluses and whatever else you need, your, your voice memos, whatever you got, because we're going to give you some information on how to contact us on either setting up a class, getting us some information, getting our newsletter, um, contacting us with any of your questions. If you run into accessibility issues with the Red Cross, with the American Heart Association, with any sort of CPR or first aid training, um, we will be happy to work with instructors to assure them that this is doable. Okay, first, my email address, C as in Charlie, F as in Foxtrot, Grassman, G, R, A, S as in Sam, S as in Sam, M A N at iCloud.com. That's C F Grassman at iCloud.com. Braden is B R A D E N. Flax, F as in Foxtrot, L A X as in xylophone at gmail.com. Braden Flax at gmail.com. You can also find information, sign up for our newsletter, um, keep in touch with us and get information by going to Linktree at First Aid Ally. Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R period, E-E, at sign, First Aid Ally, A-L-L-Y. If you don't haven't heard of Linktree, if you just put in Linktree in Google and First Aid Ally with the at sign, you, we will come up. Um, we certainly should come up. So if anyone has any um, questions, we'll be around for several hours. Find us and we'll be happy to speak with you about first aid. Everyone have a safe day. How about a door prize? There you go. Is it stuck? Don't go anywhere. All right. Thank you very much to Brayden and to Christine. Yay, Brayden and Christine. Um, I have your squeezies for each of you. you. Thank you. Thank you.